there are over 100 pairs in the forex market for everyone at all to trade. But then, knowing the right pairs to trade will actually help you make more money from the industry. And that's what I'm going to do for you in today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you six best forex pairs that you should actually trade. Why I see these six as the best is that one, they move the most during the day. Like, they, they get the highest daily moves in the market. Unlike some pairs whereby able to get 30 pips a day is very difficult, but these pairs will actually give you up to 100 plus pips on a daily movement. And that is really great for either swing, scalp, or any type of trader you are. And then secondly, these particular pairs have very low spread. What I mean by low spread is that the lower the spread in a particular pair, the more money you stand to make from every little move because you'll be paying your broker less charges for that particular trade. And then the third reason is that they are just the best pairs for anyone at all to trade. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, these pairs are easy to understand provided that you trade them repeatedly and then look at how they move. You can easily understand these pairs and it will help you make more profit from the forest market. So one thing about trading is that when you are trading forest, the best way to make more money is being able to understand pairs. And that's where most beginners fail. Most beginners, when they get started with trading, what they necessarily do is that they trade every single pair they see. But trust me, moving from one pair, like moving randomly across multiple pairs will not generate you any profit, but will lead you to more loss. This is because every pair have the way they move. And then when you keep applying the same strategy across all pairs, you are likely to lose that more than you win. That's why in this video, I'll be sharing, sharing you these six pairs and also telling you what to do whenever you're trading these six pairs so that you get to master these six pairs or probably master three to four out of it and then focus on those ones. And that will help you make more money from the market. So with with that I already said, hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Perez Trade. On this channel, I mainly focus on sharing tips on how you and I can make money from the crypto, forest, and stock industry. And today's video is made for the forest traders as I'll be sharing tips on the top six best forest pairs that you should trade. So with that I already said, I believe you've already smashed that subscribe button and also don't forget to join my telegram channel, which link will be down in the video description. So with that I already said, let's get straight into today's video. Let me share everything you need to know about those pairs and how you can trade them profitably so hello guys as i already said i'll be sharing with you six best forest pairs that you should trade in 2024 whether you're a beginner or a pro trader looking for some of the best pairs to look into in this new year so these pairs will be divided into two groups and at the end of the video i'll be giving an additional bonus pair to make it seven pairs so without taking much of your time i'm going to divide these pairs into two groups the first group will be the best trenders what i mean by the best trenders is simply Pairs that are often trained, they like they often move to a specific direction, and when they face that direction, they go until they hit the maximum level before planning a reversal. And then on the second hand, we'll be looking at the best rangers, which is two of the best rangers. What I mean by the best rangers is simply these are pairs whereby they hardly move to a specific direction, they go zigzag like in the like you might see them moving like this up, down, up, down. And I'm going to show you some of the best pairs also. That you should look at if you are someone who like trading this market so to make sure that everybody gets something i'm going to talk about all of these two as well so now with that already said let's get straight into trading view let me show you what i mean by the best trenders so for that let me just go back to trading view so the first one on my list here is actually the gbp jpy so gbp jpy is simply great britain pounds versus japanese yen this pair actually have very low spread i know you are seeing 27.8 spread right now if you could look on my screen clearly However, this pair have a great spread, but if you follow everything I'm going to tell you in this video, you know the right time to trade it to get the best spread. So first of all, let's take a look at the, mo the movement in this market. You can see how this market moved directly. And this is one thing I love about this pair. When you are trading this pair, you always look out for pullback to trade whenever you are trading it. So the GBP JPY is a market where I've been trading for quite a long time. And if you're on my Telegram channel, back then when I was dropping Signal, I realized that 99% of all my signals were coming from GBP JPY. This is because this market always respects its market movement. Like, for example, let's take a look. Take a look at its movement. Here, you can see it, the uptrend. You can see that it always comes back to take this previous high here. It always comes back whenever it's moving to come and take that previous position. And this is what I actually love about this market. And whenever you meet this market in an uptrend, you could be looking for a buy position depending on the strategy you use it, analyze it. So the first pair on my list is actually the GBP JPY. So if you are trading this pair and you are someone who actually considered a lot size, like who actually pays a lot of attention to the lot, the spread size, then I advise you trade it from the London session to the New York session or um, done. But then I would advise you not to trade it once the time is below. It's um, let me say once the time is be, is above um, 
6 or 7, let me just say 7 p.m., don't get into this market again. By that time, the spread will be really high and it won't be friendly for you to trade it. But then for me, normally, I like trading it from um, 3 a.m. to the uh, New York session. That is the period I like trading this pair because during that period, there's high movement in the market because more money is pumping in. And at the same time, there's pretty much a lower spread in that period of this particular pair. So that is the first best trender on our list, which is actually known as the which is known as a GBP JPY. So now I'm just going to add it here. GBP JPY. So now let's go on to the next one here, which is also another great trender as well. So this pair is actually what to know as the Euro JPY. So the Euro JPY is also another best trend now. So when we talk about market really trending, the Euro JPY is one of my favorite because like you just move like just just as that of a GBP JPY. However, over here on the Euro JPY, it has a way lower spread as compared to GBP JPY. That's the truth. So you can see that the GBP JPY during this time, which is um let me say 220, 1024 in Ghana, which is 1024 p.m. in Ghana, consider the Euro JPY is giving us 12.8 spread. Meanwhile, GBP JPY was giving us about a 24 plus spread. So this pair is another great pair that you should also look into trading. Like, just take a look at it. Look at the trend that this market is actually creating. Let me just get a uh, look at one trend here. This trend came and then let me just say it ended here. And then look at this other uptrend. When it took an uptrend after this period, short period of range, it took another uptrend again ended here you can clearly see that this market actually moved in a consistent order and you can see that after this uptrend is over what is it trying to do next you can see here is a downtrend being formed gradually you can see here is a downtrend that is currently forming gradually and this could be an opportunity for you to enter into this market provided that it trades back you can see the market is actually coming back to retest each of its previous swing highs i mean swing lows you see so if you should wait for this market to come back to this area here, it could be a good position for you to place a sell order. So when you are trading the Euro JPY, GBP JPY, you should focus more on trend. These are some of the great pairs if you are a trend trader. You always know that the trend is your friend. So whenever you are trading, always put your eyes on the trend. And then the third one under this list is what we know as the Australian dollar JPY. Okay, you can see I, I even have an ongoing tra uh, trade here. You can see when um, this was done, you can see friday 2nd february no okay this is where i place my order wednesday and today you can see it clearly here that uh, this wednesday 10 22 p.m and you can see it over here wednesday 2 p.m um 2 p.m you can see that was when the movement actually occurred and you can see that i'm still in the market and this market is under good trending market whenever it break out of its ranging period so now let me just uh go previously because see currently the market is ranging but whenever I break out of this range area, it creates a very consistent trend that will actually give you a lot of profit. So if you are looking for another good trending uh, market to trade, you should also look into the uh, Australian dollar JPY. However, the Australian dollar JPY have the have a very good spread if you are trading the Asia session like me. I, I do trade the Asia, Asia session as well. So the Australian dollar is also a good place for me to always pack money from. You can see the spread by this time of the night is just 5 five spread which is pretty much okay if you consider it however the move on the if this market is trending which is the australian dollar and jpy when it's trending it doesn't just move on a consistent trend yes one thing you should note when it's trending it trends gradually like for example let's look at this position here you can see it's trend gradually but then the gradual process actually moves over time so if you are trading australian dollar jpy you need to wait for pretty much a pretty long period of time for you to see a uh, huge movement mostly its movement always occur during the asia session and then the north american session so during the session you can look to enter the trade provided that you see any clear trading opportunity but anything apart from that its movement is quite okay and i personally love it and if you can see clearly if you can see clearly um i spotted an oil uh, a downtrend here that's why i entered the market and you can see that i'm doing this um Truth is to one ratio, so meaning I'm risking hundred dollar for a three hundred dollar. If I, if you are risking ten dollar, then you are risking ten dollar for a thirty dollar trade. And currently, you can see that the market, where is it is at right now, is currently at one point six ratio. 
so even if i should close it from here i would have made a decent amount of profit as well so i'm just going to leave it since i also i'm also looking into the asia session but then whenever i choose any sign of rejection then i can get out of the market so this is the third pair when it comes to trading to trading trend market is actually looking at the um australian dollar jpy so you might be asking why did i execute this trade on australian dollar jpy so here is it you can see that here was an ascending triangle being created by the market let me just take it from the beginning you can see here is an ascending triangle going coming going coming going coming and then going and then it broke below here came back for a retest and then once the retest created a rejection up to this level i quickly got into it provided because there were a lot of news going on today so if in case you are not following forex news then you are not ready to trade if you are trading no matter your strategy you need to keep your eyes on news as well so you can see immediately it broke below went back for a retest under the uh, ascending triangle i knew that okay the market is ready to change the direction then i got into it immediately so if you are trading a specific pairs for a quite a long time you will know how they move and then whenever they are creating that sort of movement you will know exactly what to do next in the market so simply that is the third one here which is the australian dollar versus japanese yen and then let's move on to the fourth one on this list which is actually the us dollar jpy so the us dollar jpy also have um similar trend in the market just as the uh, gbp jpy this is because the pricing of uh, euro jpy usd jpy and then gbp jpy are almost the same when it comes to the market movement so if you are looking at the market then you can also take similar trade on the australian the us dollar jpy because it will move in a similar trend so for example take a look at it here this is what you can see here that this is a usd jpy now let me add gbp jpy also you see a similar move gbp jpy let's look at it you can see that there's a similar move so this line you are seeing below here is the gbp jpy line you can see however the movement was totally different in the two markets there was a three a 2.6 percent movement on gbp jpy on the other hand there was a 3.38 percent movement on the usd jpy so you see the difference here so i personally trade all of these pairs and i've traded repeatedly to know how they actually move like personally for the usd jpy it wasn't one of my tradable pairs until i met uh one of my uh trainees which is someone who lets trading from me he was really good on the uh, usd jpy trading the same strategy i taught him that wasn't really affecting for me on the usd jpy but then over the over the few months that i've started working on the usd jpy i got to understand the usd jpy and i also trade it currently and i've made some profit from it as well so that is simply it about the second one here simply um the fourth one on our list is actually the usd jpy so now that we are done with the trenders in case you forgot it let me just list all of them here for you euro jpy aud jpy and then um usd jpy so this, when you come to the best trenders these are the markets i always look into gbp jpy euro jpy and the australian dollar jpy as i just said the australian dollar jpy the trend it doesn't really move in huge gap like that of a usd jpy and then the rest but then when on a good day you're actually going to hit a better mark on it so now let's move over to the next one which is the best rangers and over here the best rangers i said i was going to give you only two and one bonus so now let's go straight into the market let me just show you that so the first best ranger that i'm going to recommend and talk about is what we call the gbp usd so gbp usd is one of the best rangers when it comes to trading like i personally trade this market a lot so you can take a look at the market movement here this is a gbp jpy just take a look at how this market has been ranging so if you are someone who has actually uh watched my previous video talking about market structure and how you should and how you can trade on market structures then you should know about the gbp usd because that strategy i shared in that video is the perfect strategy to actually trade this particular market and i'll be linking to that video down in the description as well so you can check it out so take a look at it what's that what i mean by the ranging is because this market hardly moved to a specific direction 
it's it hardly moves to any specific direction you see how it's moving you see its movement it hardly moves to one specific direction and then face that way all it simply does is that it range between these two areas for quite a long time like let me just go back a bit you can see here it made an uptrend yeah this trend was fostered by a news i personally was in the did this news actually i was in the market that day even though i did not trade it that day and I, I was in the market when this news actually came out on that very day and then this created this huge movement you cited here so a part of that trust me the gbp jpy is one of the best ranges if, if you are someone who likes trading a ranging market then you should also look into the gbp usd because it gives you some of the some of the best ranging system in the market like you can see it's a pretty much simple movement so what you actually look in this sort of market is waiting for the market to retest any of these areas here like either the resistance area or the support area so if you should test any of it then you can place an opposition order provided that you see a clear sign of rejection so that is the um first ranging market in our list then let's move on to the second one which is actually the euro usd so euro usd is another crazy ranging market trust me this market has been here for quite a long time like let me go back So you can see i had a trade here in the morning let me reset it so i took two trades in this market the first trade was from this point was from this point here to this point like this no it was a one to 1.9 like this around um this was around um tuesday 10 a.m yeah i took this one yesterday so i i had it across the night actually and then during the afternoon i placed another one here you can see after this long week rejection i placed another one in here so this one here this is not a trend line but actually a channel a channel indicating a market moving downward so once you see this double line it's no longer a trend line anymore but it's known as a channel and this channel shows that the market was going down so the moment i cited this a uh, huge price rejection even though the candle was a bit showing indecision I patiently waited for it to create the next candle and immediately created the next candle to my previous entry point the following which is that on tuesday i quickly placed a sell a sell order immediately from here to this point here which is was a 1.53 so the euro us is under good ranging market on a good date let me just screw the market together so take a look at this area here in this market i'm using a very high time frame that's what you have ever seen like so if i should go to a lower time frame you see that it's really range for quite a long time so the euro usd is another market that actually range often so if you are someone like trading a ranging market you can look into the euro usd as well so the type of uh ranging system you should trade the euro usd is not trading from zone to zone but looking out for uh breakouts and pullbacks to actually trade so for the euro usd unlike the gbp usd where it, uh, i advise you to trade from zone to zone the euro usd your main eye should be should be on uh breakouts and pullbacks because this particular market it whenever it creates a breakout of any key area it continues to move in that direction for quite a long time so for example let's take a look at something here you can see here was the support the moment it broke below the support came back for a retest you see that it moved straight to this other zone here and then if you come over here immediately broke out of this uh resistance area which was a previous support 10 resistance immediately broke above it you can see that it moved straight upward came back into it again retest it and then bust off again so you can simply see the strategy here so the usd jp usd euro usd is also under good pair that you can trade when it comes to trading a ranging market however the ranging system you should be trading this one is not a uh, zone to zone but actually looking out for breakout to actually trade into and then now let's look at the as i already said i'll be giving you one bonus one as well and that bonus one is what to have as the euro gbp so the euro gbp and euro usd are really some crazy pairs actually well the reason i said it's some crazy pair is that they are best for trading from key areas so what i mean by trading from key areas is that you simply wait for them to break out of their key area and then trade them and then take a look at the euro gbp it's under great lesson as well here was the overall resistance and then here was the previous support area you can see the moment the market broke below here it went straight ahead so let me go back again you are going to see another you see this area here as if this was the support as well immediately it broke below the support it went straight down came into the support 
test the resistance break below again so if you're also looking for additional pairs to trade breakouts and pull back then one of the best pairs you should also look at to is the euro gbp so i promise you six pairs but i've ended up giving you seven pairs in this market and then the first one let's just take a quick recap let me just go back and then align up for you so the first one here was um gbp usd and then euro usd and then finally was a euro gbp so these are the pairs that you should look into if you want to start trading these pairs actually have huge amount of movement on any time frame and they quite come with very low pips so you can just take a look at them again the first one when it comes to trading trend is simply gbp jpy euro jpy audi jpy and then usd jpy and then when it comes to trading ranging market gbp usd highest euro usd best for breakout and best for breakout and then euro gbp another huge market for breakout as well so hope you find this video helpful. don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video and tell me what you feel down in the comment section so that's already said have a nice day bye